definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how I describe Pete Carmichael and the New Orleans Saints offense. Now, I'm not one to usually judge a man on how he does his job or judge a man on on anything about a job that I'm not doing. But I will say right now, I could be a better offensive coordinator than Pete Carmichael is as of right now. Pete Carmichael has been insanely, insanely terrible over the first four weeks of the NFL season. And you think that by now they have some of those things patched up, but no. See, we all knew this was a thing. We all thought it was an Andy Dalton problem. We all thought it was a Jameis Winston problem. No, we brought in a very good quarterback, a competent quarterback that should have no problem running the system that we run. Like the West Coast style offense that we run, he shouldn't have a problem. However, it's the play calling. It's it's just certain things that just don't mix. Like, for example, today there was a couple of times where it's third and one. And you're calling a play where your receivers need to go 10 yards downfield? Like, I'm not a math guy, but that doesn't add up. Now, obviously, that can work if you have an offensive line that's built for it. Now, I will give my credit to the offensive line today. They did a hell of a job when they needed to. They did everything that they could. Still, just didn't work. Because why are you calling uh, four verticals or something of that nature on third and one, third and two, when all you need to do is just get two yards? You don't need to force a play to develop heavily when all you need is two yards to move the sticks. That's just, that doesn't resonate with me. And let's just be honest, football is a depressing game. Like, if you really look into it, if you start getting in to the X's and O's and everything that comes with the game of football, you will very easily and quickly become depressed because, God damn it, if I haven't invested my time into what the Saints do off the field and the moves they make in the off season and just everything that goes on through the week, it's very hard to watch the Saints with this current state of the offense because you're being told every single week that it's going to be cleaned up. We got to clean it up. And there's been no progress. If anything, it's just regressed. We've seen the Saints go backwards. Now, I do not expect them to be perfect. I just expect them to be good enough. And it's not even close yet. We're going backwards. And obviously, yeah, your star quarterback just got hurt. Your starting quarterback just narrowly avoided a season-ending injury. And you're just now getting your best playmaker back. Sure, I can give that excuse. If it was anybody else but Pete Carmichael Jr. calling the offense. Because this isn't something new. This is something we've seen all throughout last season. It's just, it's hard to watch now. It's hard to get behind. I can understand making excuses, like, sometimes. 
But if it's every week you gotta make a new excuse for somebody, I can't do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. And let's just be real. Pete Carmichael needs to go. He really needs to go. And if that means getting rid of Dennis Allen too, that's fine. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm Dennis Allen's biggest fan, but I am definitely on the Dennis Allen train. He is a hell of a defensive mind. He is an incredible defensive play caller. He knows how to coach a defense. And if you know the game of football, while you are the head coach, you need to rely on your other staff too. Now, granted, Dennis Allen is the one building this staff. So it was his choice. It was him and Mickey Loomis that decided to keep Pete Carmichael as the offensive coordinator because, one, he's a disciple of Sean Payton. Two, he's been in the system for years. He should know it. So, no, that's fine in 2022. Now, 2022 is hindsight. We're here 2023, and we're still wondering, where is the New Orleans Saints offense that we get excited about? I thought that Derek Carr, Chris Olave, Michael Thomas, Rashid Shaheed, Jawan Johnson, Alvin Kamara, etc. I thought that would be fun to watch, but man, it hasn't even gelled together. And you know what? It's so bad to the point where you have your second year star number one receiver literally quitting in the game. He's not putting effort in his routes at all in the third quarter. You could see it in in the tape, the highlights, whatever you whatever you watch, whatever you fancy, you could see it. Chris Olave literally quit on the game and they were only down by 10 points at the time it's getting very annoying this is something that either Dennis Allen has to deal with who knows maybe you switch up and you say hey let Ronald Curry call the plays he's got some experience there he's done the senior bowl he worked the preseason He's got some experience calling plays, and he's not bad at it. But I don't think you can get much worse than Pete Carmichael. And if you do, you're just experimenting because Pete Carmichael is literally the worst example for an offensive coordinator besides Luke Getze. You gotta change something up. You gotta be willing to go down that road and experiment now because you're on the hot seat. If you let this team run the way it is right now, it's not going to succeed. You're not gonna let a racehorse run with a broken leg. It won't cross the finish line. Let's just be honest. And look, I like Dennis Allen. He's not a bad guy. He's a good guy. Good head coach? Maybe not. If if it comes down to him keeping his job, I have to say that it probably won't last because of Pete Carmichael. Pete Carmichael is going to be the reason that this guy doesn't have a job. Because it's his staff. you got to be able to make those changes whenever you see fit. And Dennis Allen doesn't see fit yet. It's four weeks, and you spiraled backwards. You went 2-0 because of two great defensive performances and special teams performances. You could have went 3-0. You know, I'm I'm going to blame that on, on Derek Carr's injury, and maybe everyone got shooken up and uninspired. That's fine. But this week was just unacceptable. You can't seriously be complacent with... Your offense right now. You're literally putting your trust in Pete Carmichael to improve what he hasn't improved at all in his entire tenure as the lead offensive play caller. It's time for change. 
Now, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you may have seen me sporadically say some things earlier. And I do mean those things. I'll put those up on the screen right now. We got a few tweets. I am very, 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 very... I could keep going. If I if I put the emphasis on very that I really meant, we'd be here for hours. But I am very out on Pete Carmichael. And I don't know anybody that's trusting in Pete Carmichael anymore. But, like I was going to say, you may have seen the tweets on my Twitter if you follow me there. If you don't, please do. I want to start a movement. We need to be heard. Us Saints fans do not deserve this atrocity that we have to sit and watch every week. The Saints are embarrassing right now. It is getting very hard to go out there every Sunday and watch what the offense does. I can get excited with the defense. They make it fun. Just every time I see... The offense on the field, no disrespect to the players, but damn, every time I think about who's running it all, who's pulling the strings, it just gets me very, very demoralized, uninspired. Whatever you want to call it, you get it. So, um, hashtag fire Pete Carmichael. That, that's basically what this entire rant video is about. And... Last week, I stopped myself from coming on here and ranting because of all of the conditions that were going on. I was very worried about what was going to happen with Derek Carr and shit. But now, now, no. Derek Carr played that game. He did fine. Nothing held him back except for Pete Carmichael. And it's got to stop. It's got to end. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to fire Pete Carmichael.